we've made some improvements. Oh, yeah. Garbage ship won't work where you're going. Wu Jing will explain when you get there. Get where? What the hell just happened? We lost them. We just lose them. What happened to our signal? That they seem to be descending, which doesn't make any sense. The blueprints don't show any underground space. Get that signal back. How far down do you think we're going? Far enough. Associate. Miss Gibbons. Professor Robbins only works with the best. Oh, he was an amazing teacher. I was so sorry to hear that he passed away. We made some changes. We had to increase security. I can imagine four American agents killed in the past year and a half. You've been busy. I presume nothing gets in or out. No radio or satellite transmissions. Nothing but trust. Please don't take offense. I can't risk American surveillance. Only our systems are hardwired to the outside world. Let's get to work. I once had a bad experience in a deep hole in the ground. Jin Sun, my new senior cryptographer. We expected standard RSA encryption, but this was something stronger. The government's been experimenting with better factoring algorithms. It's only a matter of time before RSA is obsolete. You're right. It is. I'll just need a few moments to set up my equipment. This way? They're trying, it's still nothing. Either the Chinese are scrambling our signals or Liz and Red are out of range. I thought your equipment had a range of 300 yards. It does, but maybe they've built a bunker that deep under the building. We're getting played. That signal went dark because Red and Liz wanted it to. It's not likely. How long can we wait to find out? Is it possible they could be in danger? There's another reason not to wait. Keep all insertion teams on standby. Here we go Major Chief, in five minutes we're going in. Oh, we get two teams. You ready yet? Do you get home much, Jin Sun? Not for two years. Oh, that must be hard. It certainly would be for me. I don't even have a phone. I insist on delivering all of my messages in person. What province are you from? From Yunnan. Oh, beautiful part of the country. I spent a month in silent meditation at a monastery just outside of Kunming. It was a wonderful escape from the distractions of everyday life. I can't imagine the distractions one might encounter down here, can you? No, I can't. Excellent. I think we're almost ready. This should be fun. What the hell is that? I swear, if I run into the same trouble I had with you in Hong Kong, in all the years you and I have known each other, I've never put you in a position like this. You know how I conduct my business. I don't need this kind of crap. You assured me this place was secure. It is. Then what the hell is that? That van. It was there when we arrived and it's still there. That is the FBI. With all the scans and wands and this elevator you've built that goes down to Middle Earth and you don't even bother to sweep the street around your building, this is not- Calm down, old friend. You're under surveillance. If the FBI was outside, it's because you let them here. I've been moving comfortably through the world for the past 20 years without a trace, and now some two-bit spy killer is gonna put my life and business in jeopardy? We have activity. Everybody heads up. We're made here two o'clock. Break it down 15 seconds. We gotta go. Pack it up. You! Get paso! agent's life is in jeopardy. There's no bargaining here. When confronting complex equations, the simplest solution is most often the correct one. You lost her. I can find her. It's that simple. Coming with you.
then understand I take no responsibility for your safety. And the FBI backs off. No surveillance, no wires, or you can find what's left of Agent Keene yourselves. As soon as you have information on Agent Keene, contact me. I'll get back and then we'll take him. No, I'm going to make him feel safe. Lork is going to walk and you're going to have to just trust me. Lork is not going anywhere. And I'll never trust you. You know why? Because after tracking me for years, you've come up with one undeniable truth. I only do what's good for me. And that is a person you can trust on. Now let's go. Lorca will have questions about you. You'll need Braviloquent answers. Ready? Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Raymond Reddington. Mr. Lorca, I'm Raymond Reddington. I didn't expect two of you. No, this is Special Agent Donald Ressler of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Well, what the f must be open season on the FBI. I like it. He insisted, dying to meet you. Maldito tira. Te voy a cortar la cabeza y mandársela a tu familia en una bolsa. What's he saying? He's telling his man to be ready to cut off your head. You want to tell me why I shouldn't? One chance. I got a good one. Better start talking, Donald. Red. Kill him. Ah! He's also a wonderful dancer. How do you think Red got a new ID? New passports. Established in a poor data background. New history, false prints. That's all me. I'm not the guy you kill, Hector. I'm the guy you pay. And if I don't show up for dinner tonight, you're dead by morning. It's just true. It is indeed. Crooked is a Corsican highway. He's an asset. So if you're gonna kill my inside man, the least you could do is thank him first. Barlos. <laughs> Your new life. I hope it's an interesting one. I've also arranged a flight to take you to Venezuela. You just need to sit tight for at least 12 hours. No. I'm leaving now, tonight. Not with my assistance, you're not. You're bad for business. You've made a mess. You've abducted an FBI agent. I presume she's dead. I don't know. In any event, the city's locked down. I can't have you getting busted with my fingerprints all over you. When I arrange transport, it's flawless. I won't compromise my people. Every sat tracking system, every surveillance camera, every law enforcement officer in this town is looking for you. No way you're getting out of here anytime soon. So just sit tight. Take your new identity, catch a ride on my plane, and let me clean up your mess. Full service provider, huh? Yes. So, where is the man holding the agent? You have a problem with me disposing of this bitch? Agent Keene will soon disappear. That is the price for taking everything I have. See, that's the problem right there. You let your emotions get the best of you, which is how people wind up in jail, Hector. Stupid people. I need the name and location of the man holding Elizabeth Keene. Are you sure it is not you who's acting on emotion? This sounds personal. <laughs> you got me. It is personal. I want your man. So let me spell it out for you. You get away. Agent Wrestler here saves Agent Keen. He looks good, and everyone feels better about themselves. I need a name. Now. I don't have a name. And I have no idea why he took her. Then good luck to you, Mr. Lorca. I have a contact. That is all. <laughs> 